Hello my friends and welcome back to the Deep Tarot. This is a reading for Venus sign in Scorpio. If your Venus sign is in Scorpio, this is your love reading. Everything you need to know about the schedule of the channel is in the description box. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with all of you and energy could be vice versa. I'm going to tell you a short story and you decide who is who in this story. If you are new, please subscribe and hit that notification button. So each time I post something new, you will be notified. And if you can hit like, share, and comment, thank you so much for doing that. I appreciate it. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may different from your usual type and expectations. Let's see. Okay. This is your person personality how they feel about you how they see your personality how they see your appearance is this person from the past or new what's their intentions towards you what they want to do what they will do an outcome this person personality is the three of wands this person is from the type of people who will watch for a very long time before they act if they will not watch the situation or analyze it or understand it or study it for a long time, they will never move. They have to take a very long time to know what they are dealing with. And I believe with this card here, with these three lights around this person and all this professional stuff that they have, this person is used to this and they are very good in it. They are very good in watching what they need to watch so they can gather the right information that they are looking for. This person used this way in life for a very long time so they have a very good experience in watching from far and understanding they don't interfere unless they understand how they see how what's their feelings about you this person is feeling that you are about came out of something or trying to come out of something, you transformed yourself. It seems this person is watching you from a while. So they know you before and right now they're sh seeing you after. Or maybe this person, because they watch all the time, they know when somebody is transformed and when somebody is still like naive because each and every one of us in a certain period of time we are naive when you open your eyes to life and you start dealing with it after being with your parents or where you were living and you will start to interact with life. And this is different between people. Some people life force them to, tr to interact with life when they are very young. And some other people, they stayed for a very long time, not really interacting with life. If you have the experience that this person has, as I feel from this card, they can tell if you interacted with life and transformed to be strong 
and grounded or if you are naive and still starting life holding that full energy we hold the full energy every time we open a cycle in our life but each fool we hold in every cycle is always wiser than the fool that we used to be the cycle before the one that we are starting. And people with experience in life, they can tell if this person in front of them starting the first fool or they are wrapping up more than one side. They wrapped up more than one cycle and they are starting new but wise and i believe this person sees you with this death here that you are starting new transforming closing a cycle about to open another one in a wise way so you transform to become in their eyes as personality, the king of ones, determination, wise, strong. You can read people from looking at them only. You don't need to ask them or talk to them. And you are hiding be behind your chair, not sitting and being like in your pride telling people that I learned my lesson. No, you really learned your lesson because you are alert. You don't have that snob energy. You really learned your lesson and you're looking, waiting for the right time to get what you want. How they see your appearance? The magician. This person sees you between your real personality and your appearance, a very smart person. You are giving that self-confidence to people by showing them that you are the magician and you have all the tools and you can do what you want to do anytime you want. Showing self-confidence to people will trust you automatically. People don't trust a person in front of them hesitating or having a lack of self-confidence. We trust only the person who is showing us that confident. And this is what you are doing. You are playing with your tools perfectly. And this person is taking notes about everything they are seeing. Is this person from the past or new? I believe with this Hierophant, even though the Hierophant talking about marriage and long-term relationship, in my opinion, based on my feeling in this reading, Scorpio, this is a new person. But this is a wise person. And maybe there is a difference in age between you and them. I don't know. It doesn't have to be. It's about being wise. And this person is wise. They are new, entering your life step by step. Not jumping in not holding back, making the move when it's the right time to make a move. What they want from you, the Ten of Pentacles. They want the real deal with you. This person believe that you are the one. And the card is telling you, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may different from your usual type and expectations. Maybe this soulmate is not from the type of people that usually attract you physically. 
because the attraction after that when you start to talk with the with the person is completely different what they want to do the king of swords this person is waiting right now they are showing you that wise grounded face emotionless but they're still watching you in every move you do this person right now is not planning to do anything just being around as any other person around you they will play it very low till the point that you will not even recognize that they are around What they will do, Seven of Pentacles. Still, this person, I don't feel this person need to know more about you because they know enough. But this person is waiting for the right time and I don't think this is the right time to start. They are waiting because you are going through this transformation you are about to stabilize your personality you are about to be these two here you are still new and you are testing your tools this person is waiting for you to be really confident in what you are doing here i believe after that they will make the move. They will pick the right time and this person think this is not the right time. Based on this reading here, I don't know really if you know about whom I'm talking. I think the person in this reading is not in your mind and I don't know if you know them even. For the majority of you, the person who is in this reading is not the person in your mind. Unless you met this person and you passed this phase of the relationship. I believe for the majority of you, you don't know this person and you don't know about whom I'm talking because the person in mind doesn't fit this. The person that you have in mind and think really from your head, not from your heart. The person that you have in mind doesn't fit this reading. They don't have this personality. Because of that, maybe the majority of you, they, you don't know this person. You don't know them. They know you. They know you very well. But I don't think you know them. Because this person stayed in the shadow around you. And they are still in the shadow I believe. For the majority of you. Because this person doesn't believe it's the right time to approach you. They are waiting here. Let's see the outcome. The Eight of Pentacles. This person is still crafting their plan. Doing their things till they feel that it's the right time to make the move. And I believe now is not the right time. As I told you, you didn't finish yet from this transformation. This person is waiting for you to really settle and get used to the new cycle in your life because when we start a new cycle this transformation between the past and the future wrapping up closing a cycle and opening another cycle this is a very confusing time in our life at that time we will not be ready or able to deal with emotions and new relationships in life at that time, our focus is to find a foundation to stand on to start this new cycle in our life. 
because endings and beginnings are not easy. In everything, in relationships, in life, in work, in project, in everything. After a few, after, when, after a little bit of time, when you give yourself the time to settle in this new thing, you will be at that time ready with new personality. Because each time we come out of a cycle to another cycle, we became different people. We are not the same person that we used to be. You need some time to get to use, to get used to your new self. After you, after that time, you will be ready to deal with life, with the new you. And this is the new you. This person is waiting for that right time. And I believe this is will not take long. Because of that, I feel you don't know this person and you don't know about whom I'm talking here. You will know later, then you will come and tell me. Thank you so much for being with me, my friends. I hope this was a helpful reading. Thank you so much for the love, the support that I'm feeling from you guys. I appreciate that so very much. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.